Hmm. Well, that's a problem. But not my fault. I did everything I could. And you did too. Also, why are you still here? And what after that? <laughs> I hope you're better to the next girl. I hope you finally learn how to respect someone. And maybe you won't damage her like you did me. I'm never going to let anyone ever again make me feel that way. And with that, the 2022 season comes to an end. Good night. There's no way this could get any worse. It's worse. Here's the thing. Getting your heart broken sucks ass, but what sucks way worse is having to call up your best friend after you spent two months convincing her that this one is different until you fucking broke up. So that's what she cares most about. Telling her friends that she's single again. I miss the sad smile that he used to give me when he was driving. I miss that he used to sit by me at every restaurant, even if there was a chair facing me. I miss the way. You know what I miss, guys? I miss the days when people kept their life private and didn't post crying videos on the internet. He used to play with my hair and while we would watch TikToks together. Yes, because that's so important in life, to watch TikToks. I miss him kissing me goodnight when he thought that I was asleep. I miss the hugs that he would give me because he knew that if I had a frown on my face, I'd be better with a hug. Here are some hard truths that I... So she's a psychology expert, guys, and just listen to what she has to say. That's why I say to you guys, therapy isn't worth it nowadays. I know you need to hear. The moment you start to wonder if you deserve better, you do. If you've had to sit down and make a pros and cons list about a person, you deserve more. Listen to the silence. It's saying all you need to hear. So these are the therapists that if you go to and say you have a problem with your boyfriend or your husband, you deserve better. Just leave him. If someone treats you like shit, just remember there is something wrong with them, not you. Normal, happy people don't go around trying to destroy other people. Yes, ma'am, you're right. But normal, happy people don't make TikTok videos. If someone's trying to break up with you and you want to be with them still, this is what you're going to do. You're going to allow it to happen. You're going to let them walk away. And I know this sounds scary and you're like, why the hell would I do this, Emily? It's because what is yours will never pass you by. So if you believe this person is your person, they will be back. It will work out. The more you try to control the situation, the more you push them away. So let it happen. And I promise you, they will walk right back into your life. Or Ma'am, that guy doesn't care. Doesn't care. He will just go on with his life. Or the right person will. Either way, you're going to be happy. So this is just like a little friendly reminder that you don't actually want to text your ex. You're actually just stuck in a habitual pattern that you're addicted to. And you're not addicted to the person. You're addicted to the pattern. It's not even about the person. It's Just look at your eyes, guys. Just take a look at your eyes. It's more about you and you can break the pattern. So don't worry. Three days ago, the person... I thought I was gonna marry, broke up with me. Obviously this is only day three, so I don't expect to be happy. <laughs> but you know, they always say to just distract yourself as much as possible, but no matter how much I work, like, I can't even focus on my job. I bought my favorite wrap. But all of them say that women are not more emotional than men. I'm starving, but I can't eat because I'm just so sad. Every place that I go that once felt safe just doesn't make me feel comfortable anymore. It's so weird, every place I go gives me anxiety. Just the plain fact that I'm not with- How can going to a place give you anxiety, ma'am? The person that I loved just pops up in my head consistently. You're not alone. I feel f 
alone all the time, no matter how much I stay busy, I miss him. And then I'm mad at him and then I'm confused. I'm kind of doing this to see if- Can you see all the emotions under the sun? That's why I say to you guys, you should stay logical. Think with your brain, not with your emotions. If there's anyone else out there in this process too, because damn. Whew. Cry me a river, baby, come on and dance. Cry me a river. Oh, you want to text him? And what do you think that's going to do? You think he cares? No, he doesn't care. Nobody cares. You think he's going to read it? No, he will just think you're pathetic. You think he's going to reply? Oh. If you can't figure out what his deal is, come here. You want to talk to him for a second, okay? If you don't know what's up with him lately, or why he acts the way he does, or why he's being really hot and cold, why he's watching your stories but not texting you back. Because he doesn't care. It's so simple. Why he says you're everything that he wants, but he can't commit to you. Why Guys, I've told you a million times, stop listening to what people say. Watch what they do. If they say something and they do something else, that's a red flag. Why he feels so weird about the, the relationship discussion. Why he treats you like his girlfriend, but he won't call you his girlfriend. I want, I want to tell you the reason why. Because you're a side chick. You're not his girlfriend. Ready? He fucking sucks. <laughs> oh my god, I was waiting all along to, to hear... A good answer, and that's... <laughs> you're crazy if you think you're gonna find another girl like her. She cried over the thought of losing you, and would apologize for things that were not her fault. You made a girl who loved you unconditionally and would have done anything for you, not want anything to do with you anymore. All because... Yes, ma'am, that's why you're making TikTok videos, because you don't care anymore. Because you couldn't change and treat her how she deserved. So you can live with that. Let me remind you that there are 7 billion people on the planet and there's someone out there that would treat you 10 times better than him and wouldn't cause you even a tenth of the emotional turmoil that this dude is causing you. You don't need to put up with this. You do not need to put up with this. If you're thinking about calling, texting, snapping, DMing, reaching out to that guy who hurt you, stop right now. Let's talk about it. Sister, let's get real. This man hurt you. He no longer deserves your time, attention, and energy. Your power now in this dynamic is your ability to walk away and to stay away. Silence is powerful. What do you hope to accomplish by reaching out to him? I agree that silence is very powerful, but I don't agree with the energy part. Tell him off one last time, to tell him you miss him, to hope that he misses you friend to friend no just to try to get him to validate your emotions that's all i'm telling you right now save your breath he's not yeah. worth it and you probably won't even feel better after you reach out you honestly might feel worse because likely he's not going to give you whatever it is that you're looking for so call a friend dm me go for a walk listen to an episode of a mark groves podcast don't reach out to him. Straight girls are always like, oh, my life would be so much easier if I were a lesbian. Go get your heart broken by a girl. Go get your heart broken by a girl and then tell me it's easier. She knows, guys. That's why I put this video in. She knows. <laughs> as much as it sucks feeling like you lost them, baby, let's not forget, they lost you. And by the time they realize that, you'll already be on to bigger and better things and you're not even gonna care another woman that thinks she's so special ma'am people aren't special most people are average they aren't special care anymore and then they're gonna realize what they had and what they lost me and my boyfriend broke up for a sec a couple months ago and he like blocked me on everything like no context nothing and in my delusional brain 
I would like post things on my story like with our songs or whatever to be like oh he's looking at my stuff or like someone will send it to him and then when I'd be drunk as fuck like I've made like four like text free numbers and I text him off of it oh my God. and like he really responded but it was just basically like don't talk to me but in my delusional head I was like he hasn't told me to stop making numbers so at least she admits that she's delusional, guys. Well, that means he wants to keep talking to me. And I told him that, and he was like, no. Every time I saw it, I was just like, oh my gosh, why won't this girl leave me alone? <laughs> but it worked because we're back together. Such a big simp. Such a big simp. So, stay delusional, girls. No. That's the worst advice ever, man. There are so many delusional women out there now. Stay delusional. It'll work out for you. So I recently discovered low-key probably my least favorite part of going through a breakup. Waiting for your phone to move on. Like, you might be over it, but for the next month, every time you go to send a meme to one of your friends on Instagram, the app's gonna be like, oh, remember when you used to... I don't get it, ma'am. Why do you need your phone so much? Can't you live without your phone? To send memes to this person? I do. First name on the list. Oh, you want to see who viewed your story? I know what name you're looking for. Put it right at the top for you. It's your whole phone, though. Like, please quit suggesting that I text them every time. I'm just trying to search for my Postmates app. This is a device that can take the hint that I am thinking about buying a rechargeable milk frother because I mentioned it to my roommate in passing one time. It's like, got it, same page, here's an ad for one of those. Then stop using it, ma'am. Stop using your phone for a week, for a month, and you'll feel better. It's simple. Can't take the hint that we have moved on to bigger and better things, though? Have we, though? You did nothing wrong by asking to be treated better. You weren't asking for a lot. You were just asking the wrong person. Yes, ma'am. Keep telling yourself that. So, what is ROCD? If you Google ROCD, this is exactly what will come up. It is relationship OCD. Guys, I can die happily now. I finally found what I was missing in my life. Knowing about relationship OCD. I didn't even know this was a thing, guys. What tends to happen first is we experience these thoughts and it feels honestly engulfing. Then what happens? Well, we start doing compulsions. We start checking ourselves, checking our feelings, checking our emotions. We start... No, ma'am, that's what women do. I don't check my feelings and my emotion. I think logically. Start comparing our relationships to those we see online or those that we see in Hollywood movies. And over time, it becomes a cycle that we feel like we can't get out of. I was on my third break whenever I made the discovery about RFCD. I remember crying and feeling so hopeless, thinking that these thoughts would never stop and that something was really wrong with me. Nowadays, guys, they have terms for everything, just to cater to everybody's feelings and emotions. I'm still recovering from the biggest heartbreak of my entire life. And it took me years to realize that it wasn't my ex that broke my heart. It was me. I stayed for so long with someone who clearly did not choose me back. Yes, and it's your fault, ma'am. Stop blaming other people for your choices. That's the best advice I can give modern women today. Why didn't I leave? Why didn't I stand up for myself? It's been so hard forgiving myself for these things. But this heartbreak has returned me home to me. I know who I am now. I know what I want. And I'm so grateful. Something that I wish I learned when I was younger. Never beg someone to stay in your life. Stop sending them messages, paragraphs, boosting their ego and begging them for their attention. Asking them for closure just as an excuse to stay in touch with them. You don't need their closure. Them leaving you should be enough for you yeah. to realise that you deserve so much more. Give them time to miss you. Give them time to see what life is really like without you. And 
They don't care why it is so hard for people to understand. He broke up with you. He doesn't care anymore. And then watch them come on back. Why would you want to beg someone to stay in your life? They clearly don't want to be there. And if they say, do you think you'd have a happy relationship and you wouldn't constantly have the back of your head that they don't want to be there? And you think if you broke up with your boyfriend in the first place, that if you keep texting him and if he, if he comes back, it all will be magically better. No, ma'am. It didn't work the first time for a reason. Hold the door open for them and let them go. You deserve someone who adores you. Someone who worships the ground that you walk on. So basically a simp. That's what she wants. A simp. I want a bunch of beta orbiters and sims fawning over me. And someone in New US from the minute they met you. Don't you dare settle for being someone's option when you could be somebody else's everything. Hate you. No, I don't hate you, but I'm no longer the hopeless romantic you once knew. So no, I don't hate you, but I do hate that there's a hole in my sleeve from where my heart used to be, that there's doubt in my mind when someone tells me they love me. I don't get why are they doing videos like this. They're just reading some sad story from a book and making a video about it so everybody can see that that guy broke her heart and she's not over it why why do this keep your life private nobody cares nobody i now roll my eyes at romantic movies i once loved i thought that would be us one day but i guess i misjudged i can no longer get excited when my heart begins to race i'll self-sabotage Run away, just in case. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.